welcome back to my channel it feels really weird to be sitting here filming a video after literally the longest time ever i'm so excited i'm so happy to actually be back filming and creating content for you guys i'm literally buzzing but uh, today's video is going to be a tunisian haul i'm going to show you everything i picked up from tunis um, if you guys didn't know, I went to Tunisia for my holiday. Um, actually, after this video, there's going to be a bunch of Tunisian vlogs. Um, I literally vlogged every single day while I was out. So stay tuned because it's going to be a lot of videos, vlogs coming your way. So I hope you guys are excited. Nevertheless, today I'm going to be showing you everything I picked up. Um, I got loads of different things from like household bits to like food, obviously like food from Tunisia and just a bunch of good things. So I hope you guys are excited. This is a very different haul, different from everything else I do on my channel. So there's quite a lot of random things in this haul. So without this long intro, let's jump right in to this video. Before we uh, get into the haul, I just want to say a massive thank you to Danny Wellington for sponsoring this video. Today I am going to be talking about my, like literally my go-to watch. It is this one. This is the classic petite watch. This watch guys is literally my go-to watch. I got this on holiday with me and I literally wore it every single day. It's super, super light and it literally goes with any outfit. They do this in a silver too in different colors, but this is literally my favorite one. It's the gold and I literally wear this to death. If you ever see me walking about and stuff, you'll always see this on my hand, on my wrist because it's super light, it's super trendy. It literally goes with all my outfits and stuff like that, which I, I'm obsessed with and I've got like a massive collection of the Danny Wellington watches just like on my little watch stand and um, my collection is growing I'm, I'm very happy about that um, I literally love everything from Danny Wellington these are the classic bracelets as well um, I've got one in the white and gold and I've got one in the rose gold too like these literally they're so beautiful and they look really nice together so um i just wanted to say uh, danny wellington ha has kindly given you guys a discount code basically you guys can get 10 percent off all the gift sets and a further 15 percent off using my discount code which is amina chubby so um definitely check that out because obviously christmas is coming up um it's the holiday season it's about gifting gifts to people um if it's someone's birthday or any celebration that you want to give a gift to someone then definitely use my discount code because you can get you get 15% off further on anything that you want to pick up from the website so definitely check them out you can get bracelets you can get cuffs you can get um a lovely watch just so much on the website honestly when you're on there you're just like whoa so i definitely highly recommend checking that out i'll leave that linked in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out let's get into the video okay i feel like it's only appropriate to show you guys what i got food wise from tunisia first because, because i haven't eaten breakfast yet and it's about 10 o'clock and i just started just doing my face and then it's i thought why not just film and then have breakfast later so i thought something appropriate to show you guys food because i'm quite peckish but anyways i'm going to show you everything i picked up food wise from tunisia this is actually from carrefour and i don't know if you guys can see there they have carrefour literally like everywhere they have it in i believe in paris my dad said to me i'm not sure about that but they have it in dubai and they have it in tunisia so it's, it's quite a popular place anyways so um obviously when you go to tunisia you need to buy yourself the classic tunisian biscuits which is makroud and that looks like that this was like full like full full but obviously i gave some to my friends i gave some to my manager i've um i've given some to my sisters and stuff like that but yeah this is a classic tunisian um like sweet biscuit i think i don't not really i wouldn't really describe it as a biscuit it looks like a biscuit but it's more like a sweet dish so you'd have this with tea or you'd have this with whatever really but it is amazing it literally tastes so good i'm actually quite peckish i'm gonna have one right now i'll have half because it is quite sweet to have in the morning but anyways mm, oh my god it's so good it's basically like dates and sesame seeds and just everything mixed together but it's like fried or deep fried even but it's just so addictive like if you've tried this then you'd know what i'm talking about if you haven't tried this i would definitely recommend trying this out but this is so nice mm. white. there's also another biscuit that's round and it's white and i don't know what that's called but that's amazing so if you try that then you know what i'm talking about but that's freaking amazing i love that too 
So, while we were out, like everywhere we went to, when we were visiting our like, family or like when we went to like coffee places and stuff, they served this typical Tunisian. It's like minty, but it's not. It's so, like, it's ex yeah, it looks like it looks exactly like minty that you'd get from like any Turkish place or whatever. But this is like the typical Tunisian style. So it's a bit different. Um, it's a bit more sweeter. And it has like a certain specific taste, but it was so nice. And basically they use this loose tea. And this is the Vert Super, I don't know. But basically this is a typical tea that they get. My dad told me to get this. Because I really like the tea. My dad was like, you need to get this from Carrefour. Because it's exactly the same. Apparently you just boil water, um, fresh mint and sugar with this powder. And then voila. And I'll have that specific tea. So I'm excited to give this a go. The tea is so nice and refreshing after like a heavy meal. So, you know, you know I'm gonna be having this. Okay, so next stuff I got was like a bunch of like snacky food because I don't really eat anything on the plane. I just don't like anything from the plane. Like the food they give me is just like disgusting. So, I don't know. Um, I just don't like the food and it just makes me feel sick. And yeah, so I bought a bunch of like just literally crap. So, crisps. But this is like um, barbecue flavor. I don't know, it's called Rocky Balls, which is an interesting name, but I thought I'd pick this up. But I haven't eaten it yet. I also got Boogles, and you can actually, you can actually get this crisp here. But I thought I'd pick it up because this is an original and I haven't tried the original yet. So I'm excited to give this a go. And apparently my sister's tried it and she said it's so nice. So I picked this up. I haven't even opened it yet, but look how much they've given us like just that much and all of this is just it so yeah thank you for that half a crisp um i got prince if you've tried prince biscuits oh my god are they addictive they're so nice it's got like a chocolate creamy filling and it's just so yummy it just tastes like so unique i don't know when i tried it when i have this i just remind me of like tunisia i don't know why but they even sell this in dubai though so mm, i don't know it's really nice give this a go <laughs> we also picked up some shisha flavors because the next item i'm going to show you is shisha related and um, so we picked up double apple that looks like this and we picked up mint and these are very popular flavors the alfakar fakar her. apparently these are popular flavors i don't know the brand i don't know but yeah so we thought we'd pick these up and they're very 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 strong so excited about these since i said to you guys the next item is shisha related it's it's an actual shisha casually so we picked up a shisha while we were away oh my god this is yeah it's quite big so i don't know if you guys can see the whole thing but obviously as soon as we came back adol thought but why not light it up because he, he gets so excited about stuff like this so it looks like that it's black black and gold and yeah i don't know when i saw this i was like this is very like stylish first first and foremost it's black and black is my favorite color you guys know this and it's gold so it looked a bit classy it looked stylish Okay, so the next two items are classic touristy items that you pick up when you go to Tunisia or any sort of country is basically these. Um, I got a key ring and this is a typical Tunisian door which is blue and I, I, if you follow me on Instagram you will see I've taken a lot of pictures next to that blue door so if you don't follow me um, on Instagram then I would highly recommend it because I posted a lot of like pictures in Tunisia and like everything about Tunisia so I definitely recommend checking them out but yeah I, um, I picked up a, a typical Tunisian um, door and it says Tunis, Tunisia like that and I also picked up a fridge a thingy imaging and again it's the typical tunisian door and it says tunisia and yeah so these two are super super cute and it's like the classic touristy thing that you'd pick up when you go to like 
on holiday so yeah thought pick these up and okay so another random thing i picked up is a foundation funny enough there was a mac um a mac place right next to my dad's house like literally two minutes from my dad's place it was a mac store and i was like wow perfect like i love everything from mac so i thought i'd pick up a foundation this is the face and body foundation i don't actually own the face and body i've never tried it out and i've heard quite a lot of things about it i, I heard that's really good and it's quite light on the skin and you know for everyday use i like something quite natural not heavy so i thought i'd pick this up and i got it in the shade c1 even though this is not like Tunisian sort of thing that you pick up from Tunis but you know I needed a new foundation and I wanted to try something different especially when I was away I didn't really want to wear a heavy foundation because we walked so much in Tunisia like we did 22,000 steps one day and when I came home I just literally couldn't feel my feet and my legs and everything um, yeah we did a lot of walking in Tunisia so I didn't really want to wear something heavy on my skin so as soon as we got there and I saw there was like MAC a matte place i was like oh my god i need to get the face and body so i picked this up and i loved it and it's so nice on the skin <coughs> okay so the next item is um some prints um, okay so we um little story behind this we went to cd Bus cd busade cd busade i think that's how you say it but basically it's such a gorgeous place like it is stunning it reminds me of greece santorini if you know you know this place is exactly like that honestly everything was white and blue it was just so beautiful and oh my god if you're going to tunisia i would definitely recommend going to um sudi besaid because it's stunning the picture i'm going to show you is literally everything like everything there looked like this picture so so it's this picture over here in the building everything in sudi besaid looks like this and it's just such a gorgeous picture i just knew i had to pick it up so and it just reminds me of tunisia so i had to had to pick this up okay so the next picture was actually drawn by this guy who was selling these pictures he actually drew this and i was like what the hell again this is about cd besaid i don't know when i went there i was like literally gobsmacked like everything was so beautiful so i thought i'd get two prints to remind me of that place because it's so lovely and um, we've already put that one in the frame because we were so excited but anyway the next print is this one and he drew this like what the hell that's so lovely and so we thought i'd pick it up because obviously he's an amazing artist and again it's See you okay, so. so I think this is the last item I picked up if I'm not mistaken Um, Adol did buy a few things but I don't know where he's put it in the house So I'm not gonna show those because I don't know where it is But anyway, these are some of the stuff I found in the house Um, so yeah Next thing is um, a rug But apparently again we got ripped off Um, because this was really expensive But we didn't think it was that expensive but my dad was like oh my god it could have got a lot cheaper this that, and the other but nevertheless we got a little rug and they wrapped it up in such a funky little thing anyway it's so like urban vintage mixed together and i love that um and we got it for the lounge um i think it can work but if it doesn't look so nice in the lounge we're going to put it in our bedroom but and nevertheless it's this um a rug over here as you can see i love this print so freaking much um when i saw this i was like oh my god i need this like i need this in my life like right now so i thought i'd pick it up and it is stunning i love everything about this and it's got that tunisian smell that sounds so weird but it, it smells of the markets and i got this from the markets yeah it definitely has that yeah tunisian smell the best way to describe it <laughs> so yeah we picked this up and this is really really long and um quite big so yeah i'm gonna be putting that in the lounge today i'm excited i just couldn't wait to open it up so i can actually show you guys it and then i can actually put everything away next item last but not least is a scarf um i just thought i'd pick up uh, a new scarf because i needed one and i don't know it just caught my eye because it feels like a very very good quality and it was really inexpensive too it was 
15 dinars which is around i want to say a five or uk money so it wasn't too bad at all so love it and brown you can't go wrong it goes with so many different looks so you know i had to pick that up but yeah guys that is everything i got from tunisia i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i hope you guys are looking forward to vlogs because this whole week i am going to be bombarding you guys with tunisian vlogs you guys can see what we got up to you can see a bit of my family i suppose i think i got them in a few shots so you guys can see that uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to check the description box below because i will leave my discount code for you guys to check out so you guys can save your coins on daniel valentine watches cuffs anything that you guys want make sure you check those discount codes out because on obviously limited time only so you wanna you wanna be using those discount codes let's just say that anyways i am gonna have breakfast now because my throat is killing me and i could really do with a nice hot drink and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i shall see you guys really really soon in my next video yeah okay peace bye